Okay, so the video you are seeing here is uh, is the gameplay of Shadowfy 2 in a laptop. So I have done it using an emulator called uh, BlueStacks 5. Yeah, the same BlueStacks 5 which I told that uh, puts stress on the hardware of your PC and is very laggy and is not quite ready for you to run games uh, if you have a low end PC. But the BlueStacks 5 sheds off half the load from your RAM and it works smoothly. The newer BlueStacks, I'm not talking about the old BlueStacks. Okay, so as you could see, it uh, does well and uh, the whole gameplay looks quite nice here okay so that's what now the video will be based somewhat on the previous video i made which has uh, the about a website uh, which allowed you to run, run android apps on a browser but i will also tell the alternative of how to install the newer versions of the bluestacks along with bluestacks 10 which allows you to play games on cloud yeah okay so this was the website which i uh, last uh, used two years ago when i made the video uh, i was talking about and this was the video uh, which uh, got so many views and i really thank the viewers so now as you could see the website which i used here was uh, i took an apk and uh, went to this website called appetize.io which allowed me to run that apk but the website has quite updated and they have brought a pricing system here so the thing is that you need to go to pricing and select the free version okay because in free version you get restricted things and you get one active session at a time okay so the free version allows you to get 100 minutes per month and one active share one active session so that will be enough for you to actually do things and one thing which i forgot to tell about in my old video was that uh, this will allow you to run very light apps you cannot run uh, it's it's a uh, emulator based on browsers so you cannot expect it to run very heavy apps like very heavy games and those things like you can use it for testing the apps you have built that's the main purpose of this website and you can use very light apps like last time also i showed uh, app called desmos because now you see Now see, um, I went to this app section and I clicked view on Desmos. Sometimes it shows like uh, account level queue and this I just tried restarting it. So this was the app which I showed last time. I tested multiple apps but to be very honest all of them were like very light and those things. So now I will tell you how to actually run heavy apps and how to install Bluestacks 5 which is the emulator which has uh, which stresses less on your hardware. Okay let's go okay so now i'm not a big fan of emulators but i have seen people in other videos are asking you to download android studio and uh, uh, other things but i still cherish that this bluestacks is the goat of all things like and uh, it can help you because now with every release the amount of stress it puts on your load is releasing it's um uh is getting um, chopped down because now you see they have brought features like eco mode which will take less amount of your ram and those things and you can easily configuration because for every game there is some configuration available over the internet people have made videos how to run games fast and okay and the control is quite good and you get better fps and those things okay and you could see this uh, you also get an inbuilt recorder the screen up and other things as well okay so basically you just need to download it and as i've already downloaded as you could see here um this blue stacks i will give the link to it but your pc now since we are talking about running high games your pc should be somewhat uh, able to open it because it will show if your pc is not uh, compatible it will show that your pc is uh, graphics uh, is too low to handle it so it will show during the installation only okay so that's all and when you install it after you installing since i have already installed in my, in my pc i'll just show you the interface 
it's already installed in your PC it will get installed here okay now what you can do is that I will give you the link to this installer along with this you will get one more thing in your PC called bluestacks 10 okay if uh, I will use the link which I gave in the description and you will be able to get it so using this all you could do is that it launches through bluestacks 5 only but this is something which is this, this is an app player this is just an app player like suppose you whatever you do here whatever you install here which it will run on your bluestacks 5 emulator only now here as you could see i have already installed shadow fight so that's why i was able to launch it and you could search other games like um, uh, As you could see Call of Duty, Modem, Wireless Air and other things. As you can see it took very less time. Just uh, lower down the volume here. Already logged in. So you don't need to mess with the other features of the emulator. You don't need to. Uh, from this if you still want to run light games and you know when you have realized that your pc is not too good you can go to this website as well which allows you to run some small games but as far as in my experience this website was really laggy but still you could run the, these games like if you see this and then you click on start an emulator comes up the gameplay here was really laggy and since this, all, this is also working on laptop uh, and this is also working on your browser you cannot expect it to run very high specs games okay so that's how things goes and so the best way to run if you want to run really heavy uh, apps so it, it's best that you use the latest version of bluestacks okay so that's all and it comes with the Bluestacks 10 and you use it instead of going here and uh, uh, trying with Bluestacks 5 then this thing you use the Bluestacks 10 app player it uses Bluestacks 5 only but it will help uh, to reduce the load on your RAM okay that's all and uh, after you launch it you will get the option to turn on eco mode and those things wait let me show you that also um, suppose I turned it on Just view of my laptop. Okay. Go to settings here. After going to settings, you will find there are multiple options of how much GPU or CPU you want to allocate to it, and you could also balance how much high performance whether you wanted to run into other mode things. Now. We will also lower the resolution here which means make it, running it on a smaller screen and it will less take less time to render and I don't think you should uh, mess with these settings and there are other videos on YouTube which will tell you how to run in particular the faster what's the best setting for it okay now as you could see here is this uh, menu called uh, menu uh, which comes up right here you could turn on eco mode here but as soon as I will turn on eco mode you will see the FPS will drop or the game can lag also but after some time it will come back so as you could see the game lagged here because the FPS dropped to 2 FPS as you could see but now, now since I will uh, set it up the game will automatically come back so it should come and here the sound is also off so the, um, the thing will also take less load to render it now as you could see the game works normally and the fps has dropped down to 30 which will help it to which will be taking less ram now now do this only if you need if you have a very low end pc then only you do this okay now that's all and you could move forward so that's all for this video thank you for the love on the previous video but i wanted to fix things and 
screen or the on and the truth that those online emulators will not uh, help you if you want to test your own apps and if you want to test light apps without using an emulator you can go with this suppose if you're an app developer you are working on some app and you want to test this is a good alternative it allows you 100 minutes and one active uh, 100 minutes in a month and one active session so that's enough for you and this is there is also this app which will help you to test it here also you have the option to uh, try things and upload your own app and those things upload and run you can see the option here so it allows you to upload your own apps and do it okay so that's all with this video thank you